Christmas and a happy new year. Tanuki no Gamin Sama. Yuki no Ikitanuki no Fuyu wa kibishi. Shikashi, Akugin no Sekai ni someru Yuki wa utsukushiki Fuyu no koi bito tachi da. I always wanted to do that. Hi, this is Marina and welcome to SA and Anime. Today I will be speaking about the best Christmas anime and my favorite Christmas anime, which happen to be one and the same. The first one is a Sailor Moon film and specifically the best Sailor Moon film. It's Sailor Moon S movie, Hearts and Ice. I just had to dress like my version of Tuxedo Mask for this. Anyway, this film ticks so many boxes. It's set in the Sailor Moon S saga. This doesn't make sense plot-wise, but that's okay, because we get to see our favorite Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus being very, very gay. Also, we get to see Luna's human form. It's based on the manga for manga purists, and it takes concrete movie form. For the record, I'm more of an original Sailor Moon anime gal. I believe Sailor Moon takes its best form in the 90s anime and is a perfect mixture of the collective efforts of Naoko Takeshi, Kunihiko Ikuhara, the wonderful eccentric director of Sailor Moon, and the whole staff and crew of very talented individuals that are responsible for Sailor Moon. In Sailor Moon S, Sailor Moon also acquires peak animation and story. So please, 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 if you are going to watch something from Sailor Moon, watch Sailor Moon S. There are also rumors Hideaki Anno, Mr. Neon Genesis Evangelion himself, designed the transformation sequences for our favorites, Uranus and Neptune. These are rumors possibly spread entirely by myself in Reddit and Anime Discord. Even Tuxedo Mask's character reaches its peak. That's it. That's the peak. Anyway, the story goes like this. An unusual snowstorm hits Tokyo and the sailor Senshi discover that the evil snow queen Kaguya wants to freeze the entire earth. Meanwhile, Luna, who is the cat in Sailor Moon, falls in love with a human astronomer whose girlfriend is about to be part of a space shuttle mission. When the astronomer becomes ill, Luna becomes human in order to help him. So, a lot of things happen, and I strongly recommend you watch this. You'll thank me later. The other good Christmas anime film is actually a good film, and you can safely suggest it to your snobby film bro friends. It's Tokyo Godfathers by Satoshi Kon. Just look at the poster and the My Anime list rating. It's even made by Madhouse Studio. This is a proper film. One Christmas Eve, three homeless people, a middle-aged alcoholic man, a transgender woman with a deep maternal instinct, and a teenage runaway girl discover an abandoned newborn while searching through the garbage. They spend the night trying to find its biological mother. Tragically, there are zero cute anime superhero outfits like this one. Other than that, the writer-director does his best to show, in a both humane and realistic light, a category of people that get treated badly or are ignored. As far as the homeless people in Japan are concerned, Japan is the only country in the world with a homeless population rate of around 0%. This sounds good. However, after reading Tokyo Ueno Station by Yumiri, I can't not share a couple of lines from the book that talk about the experiences of homeless people. The protagonist of the book is dead and has become a ghost. Uh, that is symbolic of his situation of being a homeless, invisible man. At some point, talking about his situation, he says, To be homeless is to be ignored when people walk past while still being in full view of everyone. If I don't exist, I can't disappear either. There is a brief mention of a man who lost his fortune in the bubble bast of the, the Japanese economy in the 90s. Fun fact, there is this book I haven't read yet, which kind of connects Sailor Moon to the economic bubble bast of the 1990s, and by John LeCour called Sailor Moon and Post-Bubble Japan. Anyway, this homeless person I mentioned before in the book ends up like this. Rumor was that not long after he'd been killed by some middle schoolers. In Tokyo, Yokohama and Osaka, groups of youths were attacking homeless people for sport. 
the perpetrators had sprayed huts with fire extinguisher and ganged up on the occupants with air guns, signboards and crowbars. And once the victim was exhausted from the violence of being kicked and punched, the perpetrators would set off fireworks at their face from a short distance until they went blind and then stabbed them repeatedly. I'm sorry that took a very dark turn. However, art is often connected with dark things. So what can we do about that, Niatali? <laughs> Why, thank you, Niatali. Niatali. Moving on, um, I have no answers to this, but there is a beautiful poem by Bertolt, Bre Bertolt, by Bertolt Brecht where he tells us what he thinks about the situation. It's called A Bed for the Night, and I'm going to read it to you because I'm boring and I read poems. I hear that in New York, at the corner of 26th Street and Broadway, a man stands every evening during the winter months and gets beds for the homeless there. By appealing to passers-by, it won't change the world, it won't improve relations among men, it will not shorten the age of exploitation, but a few men have a bed for the night. For a night, the wind is kept from them. The snow meant for them falls on the roadway. That's all until tomorrow. Merry Christmas, may all your wishes come true.